Hi guys, I have this fabulous Rosa style villa to show you. We are on sector B and this is a blank canvas so you can put your own stamp on it. It's absolutely lovely and pristine. So let me take you in. I'm quite excited to show you this property. So this property is the actual original build. There's no been no extensions or anything in this house. It's just perfect for anyone who just wants to have a holiday home or a permanent home. It is up for sale with to let to sell to buy dot com to check their website out. You have off road parking here as you can see. You could level it off that it goes further down so you could park three cars here. You have got quite a big plot here so enough room for a pool quite easily. So let me take you inside into this lovely Rosa. Now you only have a few steps up to here, up to this nice terrace. And the terrace here is lovely to sit out onto on these nice sunny days. As you can see, you could put an awning over there. You have wreckers on the windows and on the door. And you also have a dusk to dawn light above the door. So let me take us inside. So just inside here, as you can see, you have dual aspect windows. You've got wreckers and blackout blinds on the windows. You've got a feature fireplace there that has never been used. And this house is as it was when it was built. It's really lovely. So there's such a lot of potential you could do here because it's a blank canvas. Absolutely lovely. So just down there, you have your dining area. So we walk over to the dining area. Just taking the dining area from a different angle, you have got that archway there through the kitchen where you can hand meals over during the day. And it's quite a large space here. You could take that wall down and open the kitchen a little bit more if you wanted more of an open plan feel. Just above, you've got your light fitting. And in the living room, you have got a ceiling light and fan to keep you nice and cool on those hot days. So I'm just going to take you down here to the kitchen. And as you can see, you have an integrated hob and oven. You've got a granite effect worktop and plenty of top and base units. You've also got your sink and drainer there. You keep your fridge freezer, your microwave, your toaster and kettle. You've got plenty of room here and worktop space. So this is a great house for a family home, permanent or a holiday home. So I'm just going to take you up through here. Just in here is the first of two bathrooms. You have your frosted glass window there, your shower. You've got your washing machine in here. And you've got your sink and pedestal and your WC. You've got your socket there for your shaving socket, if you like, and a small mirror. You could put a bigger mirror there, of course, if you wanted to. You have some overhead lighting and you have a little heater overhead. So I'll take you directly into the guest room, just here. And in here you've got a ceiling light and fan, wreckers and blackout blinds on the windows. This is a lovely large double bedroom. It will take a double bed in here as well. Just doing it from a different angle, just to give you a feel of the room and you can have a better view of it, okay? So as I said, you've got a ceiling light and fan there. You've got integrated wardrobes there as well, which is a double wardrobe with overhead storage.
Now I'm just going to turn in here. So just as we go in, this is your double bedroom. You have overhead storage and a double wardrobe. You've also got your ceiling light and fan here. To keep you nice and cool on those hot summer evenings. And you've got wreckers and blackout blinds on the windows there. I'm just going to take it from a different angle in the room here. Pan around. And if I just show you here, you have got um, your TV points and a socket and switch there. If you want to put a TV on the wall. Okay. So just further down in the room there, you have another door and that takes you into your ensuite. So we'll have a look in there. This house is pristine. It's absolutely lovely. And it's only about seven minutes drive from the local amenities. So in here you've got a bidet, sink and pedestal, WC, your bath with a shower attachment. Just going to pan around here for you to better feel of the room. You've got a light there over a small mirror and you have got heating just above the door. And you've got a nice decorative light above. You've also got that storage there. You can keep your bathroom bits or your towels or whatever. And you've got a frosted glass window with records on the bathroom window there. It's all fully tiled as you can see. With a nice little decorative strip to break up the cream mottled tiles. So I'm going to take you out and we go through the house. So this is a lovely bright and airy property, as you can see. And I'm just going to give you another glimpse of this room. It's really nice. And you could put a log burner fire in there if you wanted to. Just going to pan around for you guys. So I'm just going to take you outside now, out into the sunshiny, sunshiny day. So let's go upstairs now. And up here is the rooftop solarium. So I'll see you upstairs, guys. So we're just upstairs, guys. And we're on the rooftop terrace. Some beautiful views all around. Now, as I said, this is the original build of a Rosa style property. You could put um, an extra room up here if you want. Some people have done that, have done top boxes and had an extra room. And it's quite a large space to have private sunbathing up here. And some people have put a door in there so you could have storage, you know. Put your cushions and your lounge beds. So I'll bring you back downstairs now. From here, you're only 28 minutes or maybe 30 minutes to Cavera Airport and 80 minutes to Alicante Airport. I'm at the bottom of the steps now, so I'm just going to walk around. And as I walk, I'll tell you a little about Campuso. We have Facebook groups that if you wanted more information about Campuso itself, you could have. You've got a fig tree there, which is really nice. And some bougainvillea bush. Beautiful flowers. So here on Campusol, we have all the amenities that you need on. On A or Section B. We have got a golf course here with a restaurant. And you don't have to be a member of the golf course to take part in the carvery on a Sunday. Or have a drink. 
community here are all very helpful. Everybody will help you out if you need to. It's very friendly and it is a mixture of cultures here. We have Belgian, Dutch and um, English and Irish and Italian and you name it. It's here and Spanish. So just here you've got a few steps which I'm going to look in that underbuild there. So this is the underbuild here. It's quite big inside but it has a small doorway. So I'm not even going to try to get in. But it has been dug out and you could concrete it and make something of it, more storage for yourself if you wanted to. Okay. It's only a small door, as you can see. This is a nice shaded area, so I'd possibly tile this and put nice table and chairs around here or rattan furniture. So on those really hot days, the house we should you could have a shaded little spot for yourself, you know. So we have the Espuna Hotel in Mariposa, which does quad biking, abseiling, white river rafting, and all those type of activities. About 20 minutes drive from here. On campus itself, the only means you don't have is a police station. We even have a hospital on here. Um, two doctors. We have everything. You name it, we've got it. So, I hope you've enjoyed this little tour around this villa. So, as you can see, it's very well maintained. It's pristine and you could put your own stamp on it. It is absolutely a fabulous buy. So, do check it out on the website. Hope you enjoyed this tour. And don't forget to like and share this property because somebody out there would love it. Okay, so see you guys the next time. Take care.